brushes and compose are a fundamental part as to how content is drawn on screen. They are what decides the individual color for each pixel that you draw. Using a different brush can help make your app look a little bit more unique than others, either with beautiful gradients in the background or delightful details to text or shapes. A basic brush can be created either from a simple solid color, which returns a brush, or from pre-existing brush functions such as brush.horizontal gradient. In this example, we specify a list of colors that a brush should use for the gradient. There are a few built-in gradient brushes, such as horizontal, linear, vertical, sweep, and radial gradients, which all produce different looking gradients based on the input colors. Gradients can be customized further to change the distribution of colors by specifying the color stops for each color. For example, Setting the yellow color in this case to not take up as much space as the rest of the colors by setting the color stop of red to start at 0.2. If we had set the red color to start at 0.5, you'll notice a difference in the output of the gradient. The red is most prominent at 0.5 and the yellow extends further between the two stops. By default, with gradients, the gradient takes up the full size of the area that it's drawing into. To change this, you can set the end X on a gradient with a specific size. In this case, we set it to 50 dp in pixels and change how the gradient is tiled by setting a specific tile mode. This example sets the tile mode to mirror. So you can see this example, the gradient is now repeated four times. And at the end of each gradient, the gradient is flipped or mirrored and repeated again. There are four tile modes you can use, mirror, repeat, clamp, and decal. Clamp mode takes the final color from the edge and decal is similar to clamp, but instead it leverages the transparent black instead of the edge color. Simple gradients are fun, but why don't we kick things up a notch? There are a few more options when it comes to brushes. Firstly, we could use an image by creating a shader brush that uses an image shader. In this example, the text style is set to use the image brush, but the brush can be used in many different places. For example, you could also draw a circle with an image brush too. In the JetSnack app, we've used gradients throughout the app to add a little bit of visual delight. But we can always do with a bit of subtle movement on screen. It's a powered screen after all. We can take this opportunity to impress our users whilst they read and browse, but we don't want it to completely overpower and distract them. So we can combine the animation APIs with drawing the gradient on screen. In this example, we create an infinite transition and create an animating offset, supplying a tween animation spec that takes 50,000 milliseconds. Remember, we want subtle and slow here. We then use this animating offset value when we create the brush, supplying it to the start and end in a draw with cache modifier. We then call draw rect with this brush in on draw behind. And setting a blur on the background makes this animation subtle and not distracting, but gives a moment of delight when users notice it on screen. And finally, we get a soothing background animation here. And that's all for this video. If you'd like to brush up some more, be sure to check out the documentation. Happy painting!